Hi, I'm Angela Walters from Quilting is My Therapy, and I love machine quilting with rulers. Machine quilting with rulers is one technique that can grow with machine quilters no matter their skill level. So whether you're brand new at machine quilting or have plenty of years of experience, you're gonna love it. Not only do rulers help you create designs that are difficult to freehand, they allow you to create those designs consistently over the whole quilt. I'm excited to announce that for the first time you can get all of my Creative Grids machine quilting rulers in two thicknesses, one for high shank machines and one for low shank machines. In general, you'd use the quarter inch thick acrylic rulers for machine quilting on a long arm or a high shank sewing machine. This thickness is desirable for those machines because it prevents the foot of your machine from slipping over your ruler. And if you've ever had that happen, you know it's not fun. It breaks the needle, it breaks the ruler, you pee your pants, I mean, in theory. But if you have a low shank sewing machine, that quarter inch thickness is gonna be too thick to allow the ruler to slide up right next to the foot, preventing you from making beautiful quilting designs. In this case, you would wanna use a thinner machine quilting ruler, about an eight inch thick. It's best to figure out what kind of shank your sewing machine has before picking out a ruler. That will prevent you from buying one that isn't compatible with your machine. But how do you know if your sewing machine is a high shank or a low shank? I am so glad you asked. The shank on a sewing machine is the metal rod at which the presser foot attaches to. And where that foot attaches will determine whether your machine is a high shank or a low shank. To measure how high your shank is, you're gonna measure from the center of the hole where that screw goes in to the bottom of the machine with your foot in the down position. A high shank machine will have about an inch from the bottom of the sewing machine to the hole where the screw goes in. In this ruler, I know that this marking line is one inch, so that means that this is a high shank sewing machine. For these kind of machines, I'm gonna use the quarter inch thick machine quilting rulers. On a low shank machine, the distance between the hole where that screw goes in and the bottom of your machine will be about a half of an inch. In this case, you're gonna use the eighth inch thick machine quilting rulers. Now, if you're measuring and you still can't quite figure out whether your machine is high shank or low shank or somewhere in between, you can always reach out to your sewing machine manufacturer or you can use this handy trick to see which rulers to use on your machine. If you have two regular rotary cutting rulers handy, stack them on top of each other and this will approximate about a quarter inch. Then place them snug against the foot on all four sides. If you can touch the rulers to that foot on all four sides, that means you can use the quarter inch thick acrylic rulers. If you can't, that means you should go with the low shank rulers. But once you've figured out what kind of machine you have, then it's time to decide which ruler to get. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about my Slim Ruler, a great ruler for creating straight lines and curved effects. I love to use it to quilt straight lines in all directions, from horizontal to vertical to diagonal, as well as stitching in the ditch and creating more complex looking designs. But it's not all straight lines. Slim's curved end allows you to tiptoe into quilting curves on your quilt. Try using them in the borders, in blocks, and even backgrounds to create some intricate looking designs. For the most part, I think that using a straight edge ruler is the best place to start. Since the point of contact stays the same on your foot no matter where you are on the ruler, it's gonna give you one less thing to think about. I've also designed Slim so that it's about the size of my hand. That means I can't quilt past my fingertips, allowing me to maintain a nice grip on the ruler. All my Creative Grids machine quilting rulers are made with high quality acrylic, have the Creative Grids grip on the back to keep the ruler from sliding, and markings in black and white, which means you'll see them no matter what color fabric you're using. To learn more about this ruler or any of my machine quilting rulers with Creative Grids, check the description box in the link below. Happy ruler quilting!